Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about pass by reference in C++. So let's make a program, include IL stream, int main, return zero. I always typed a dash for some reason. Okay, so inside our program, we're going to have an int my num equals zero. Okay, so before, when we pass things into functions, what we always did was pass by value. So um, let's make a function called void and then call this increment pass by value and then pass in int num. And if we did something like num plus plus, um, and if we call this function increment pass by value and then pass in my num, what actually happens is I take my num and then create a copy, pass it into this function, and then it increments the number. And then once it leaves the function, the, the variable inside gets lost because it's a local scope, so it goes away. And then if I go from line 12 after onwards, the, the my num is actually unchanged because we're just making a copy, modifying the copy, and not returning the copy. Okay, so take a look at what's happening. If we put a breakpoint here and start debugging. Okay, so we'll take a note of what my num is. So my num is zero, right? And if I step in, we have a num variable. So num is currently a copy of my num, which is zero. And then if I do plus plus, num will increment. So if I step over, you see num became one. And then if I step over again, it's gonna go to the next line, you see that my num is still zero. It, it was not changed, right? So now if we do what we call pass by reference, it's gonna look almost exactly like this. I'm gonna call increment pass by ref for reference and then the key symbol you need to add now is this ampersand so when you add that it tells the computer that you're actually passing in a reference to your value so it's going to actually modify the original value okay so i'm going to call increment pass by ref and then pass in my num and let's take a look at what's happening here so if i put a breakpoint here and then run start debugging. So make a note of what my num is. So after it, after it ran pass by value, you see my num was unchanged from earlier. So if I step into this function, it's gonna go to num plus plus. So now it's actually, um, you're actually pointing to the same my num here. So if I increment this, we'll see that num increases. So if I step over, num is increased, and if I get out of scope, you see that my num actually changed to one. So that's the big difference between pass by value and pass by reference. So this will be good if you know, you know, you want to modify a value you have, and then you don't want to make copies. And this is important if you're dealing with a much bigger size. So you, you kind of want to try to avoid making too much copies, okay? So that's, Pass by reference in C++, and if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.